Hi Poodles, Richard Ryder here for Queer Comics and this week's question is, how gay are you? Well, you know, I think everybody's a little bit gay. Everybody, but to see how gay I am, we're gonna have to go for a little bit of a walk. I'm so excited, oh my bag. Well, I live right at the corner of Church and Wellesley in the heart of the gay village. It doesn't get gayer than that. Not only do I live on Church Street, I was born on Church Street at the Salvation Army Grace Hospital. You don't get much gayer than that. I mean, seriously, you can see the village from here. It's down there somewhere, I swear to God. I also work at Proud FM, the gayest radio station in the world. Which makes me pretty gay. Ugh, okay, so. That's a little bit gayer than most people. Hey, Poodle. Hey, Poodle. Hey, Poodle. Toodles, Poodles. Uh, what else makes me gay? Well, I... Oh, I'm Cher. Hey, Cher, what are you doing? Get ready to say farewell one more time, Rosie, because I'm Cher, goddammit. Yo, Cher! How you doing? You selling any more goth stuff on your website? Oh, what's with your voice? What's with your voice? Okay, I own a few more wigs than a man ought to. If I were king of the forest, no. <laughs> if Jesus had only expected you to wear one wig, He'd only made one. No. <laughs> Throw on a third one. All of a sudden, I am ready for my close-up. <laughs> Do for the, the Italian in all of us. This is it after it's been shaken out, or as I like to call, we pounded the tortellini. <laughs> also, I'm a whore for a little half. Ask anyone. <laughs> this one has a ribbon, makes me feel pretty. I bought this one in Ottawa for $65, which makes me pretty gay. I don't know one man in the world who would pay $65 to wear a little sparkly silver shoe right up there on his <laughs> Wait, there's more. I make a lot of <laughs> For those of us having a bad day, <sighs> I made this one with Vicky Licks in mind. <laughs> Flamingo, anybody? The plane's going down! The plane's going down! <laughs> well, it's on my head. It's going down somewhere. Usually at the bottom of the pack of chips. <laughs> Ooh, chips. Okay, so this hat obviously is for weddings or people who suffer from allergies. Uh, table for one, flamingo. Sup? Sup? You're not gay enough to talk to me. Oh, speaking of chat chat. That's my cha-cha heel. Can you hear the echo? Oh, people have used this to row ashore. It's even too big to wear as a hat. Brazil. Wait, no, she wore that on her head too. Is it like that? Hmm. If Prince Charming found this slipper on the stairs, he'd let Cinderella go. Stay dry in the rain. In the summer, I'm gay enough to feel comfortable using a Chinese fan. Of course, it scares the crap out of everyone else. Okay, so short of that and possibly some vivid porn, I mean, I don't think I'm that gay. I think I'm gay enough for me, and that's the bottom line. It doesn't matter how gay you are. As long as you're gay enough for you, and this is why coming out is so important. Because if you bottle down all that gay and 
lock it behind the closet door and let it build up and build up and build up, what's going to happen is in your 60s, you're going to become one of those annoying old gay men who's too touchy and wears too much jewelry. You know the type. That said, I've already got a pinky ring picked out. Oop, oop, gotcha. Till next Wednesday, toodles poodles. I think that was pretty gay.